Um, it's not it's not too different. Uh, I just one of the leaders on the team, uh, stepping up in that role, and then um, I've seen young guys come in and out every year, so it's not really too much different. Do you ever sit back and think, "Wow, man, this has gone by pretty fast. I can't believe I'm doing this." Yeah, it went by by really really fast for this to be my senior year. I can remember my freshman year like it was yesterday. So. I mean, hopefully we can end the season on a, on, a, on a win. Do you still get excited the same way as, as like an eager anticipation for the start of a, a season like you did when you first came in? Definitely. Um, it's been different every every year, so I mean, this is going to be different too. Uh, I can't wait to get the season going. I think we got a good chance of winning. Cal called this team unconventional. What what are you thinking, man? Um, because we have a, a really different team. We have a lot of versatile guys. Um, we don't have any like true dominant post players like that. Um, we, I don't know really what we have. It's going to be <laughs> tough to see how we're going to play. We haven't even figured it out yet. So, I mean, it'll be fun to watch, but I don't really know how you describe it. Darius, you guys have dealt with expectations ever since you got here. But this year, a lot of talk of Final Four, high rankings, national championship or bust, you know, all that stuff. How are you guys able to, to kind of deal with all that? Um, we got a lot of competitive guys on the team, so I think we're going to handle it just fine. Plus, like you said, every year, Kentucky fans say we're supposed to win it. So this is not too much difference since I've been here. Since this is your last go around, what is, what is your mindset? I know you've told me that, that you don't want to lose your last game. Is it? Do you feel like for you it's national title or bust? Yeah, um, that's that's the goal that I have. And, um, that's, that's what's going to make me extremely happy if we win the national championship. And I think we have the players to do it. When you were talking about the versatility and, and kind of the makeup of this team, can you almost toss out positions in a conventional sense of, you know, ones and twos and threes? It seems like you've got guys that are interchangeable and can do any number of things. Um, I don't know who's going to play what position, honestly. Like, I, like you said, um, we got a lot of guys who can play multiple positions, so I don't know. I'm sure Kyle's going to have it figured it out, so we, we're not really worried about that. We're just trying to get better right now. Tough and long, can you guys be defensive? Um, I think we got potential to be one of the best defensive teams in the nation. Um, I think we have a lot, of, like you said, long and athletic players who can do a great job of defending, um, rebounding, especially on um, blocking shots. So I think we'll be strong in that area. Hopefully, we focus on that. And that becomes the best part of our team. In, in what way, having guys like Rondo and Demarcus and the whole Oklahoma City Thunder team and stuff like that in here? And being able to play pick up and watching those guys do their thing, how has that helped maybe you guys? Um, it's helped a lot, seeing how hard they work, um, seeing what they put themselves through. And I think um, we all look to see that's where we're trying to get. So um, we know how hard we're going to have to work. And we've seen how successful they've been from, from working that hard. So I think it kind of rubbed off on us. Was there ever a moment where you, I'm sure you think you've worked hard your whole career trying to get there, but did you see one of those guys that just made you go, wow, I, I can't believe this guy? <laughs> yeah, there was a few of them. And, uh, I mean, they worked extremely hard every single day. And, uh, I mean, it just opens your eyes to what, what you have to get done uh, as a person, as a player, uh, individually. You know, it was eye opening. Were you? Good. <laughs> you enjoying this or just putting up with it? Nah, I mean, uh, I don't have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> Coach compared you guys to the Louisville teams in the 1980s. I know that. I think before you were born. But what, what if anything, does that mean to you when you hear Louisville 1980s? Honestly, I don't know too much about Louisville in the 1980s. So <laughs> I don't know.